Shalom. All praise to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rekah Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And a sincere salutation to all the occupants pushing this truth to the four winds of the earth, looking up the whole for the lead. Coming at you with another lesson titled Lucifer, Satan, Devil is Just a Man. Okay? Lucifer, Satan, Devil is Just a Man. Our people believe that Lucifer actually fell from heaven. Okay? The Roman Catholicism, Roman Catholic Church teaches our people that Lucifer fell from heaven, which is, that's madness. Okay? The Lord did not kick Satan, Lucifer, the devil, out of the third realm. Okay? Which is where Yahweh and Yahweh Shah is sitting at. That's madness. He did not do that. When it says in Isaiah 14 and 12 that how I thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, it's talking about his rulership. This is his heaven. You have the heaven here on earth, you have space, which is a heaven, and you have the third, the third realm, which is where Yahweh and Yahweh Shah sitting on the throne. Okay. This is Satan's heaven. Esau, Edom, the so-called white race. So Lucifer only means light bearer. Light bearer go back to the word illuminate. Okay? Who called itself the Illuminati? Which means the light bearers. Okay? So it's a play on words that our people don't understand what the truth is. But Satan never fell from heaven. He's fallen from this heaven right here, which is meaning out of his rulership, his power, his control. Okay? That's the heaven that he's fallen from. His heaven is crumbling before our eyes right now. Okay? North America is collapsing. So, first verse, the first chapter I'm going into, this is Matthew chapter 13, verse 10. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why well, speak of thou unto them in parables? Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. So this ain't given to the two thirds, to the heathen nations. Okay, our people do not understand these scriptures. Okay, tell you in Isaiah twenty nine, man, that they are blind. The Lord have blinded them, man. They stagger, okay, but not with strong drink, man. They drunk, but not with wine. Okay, that's the philosophy that Esau Edom have taught our people through the Roman Catholicism, the Roman Catholic Church. Okay, so. This is John. This is John chapter 8, verse 32. And it reads, And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Now, this is the truth that Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah say. When you read these scriptures, man, okay, when you get the understanding through the apostle Elders of Great Millstone, man, you will understand and know this truth. Okay? So I'm going to 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 3. And it reads, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except that come a falling away first. Meaning, we was going to go into captivity. Okay, we was going to lose our heritage. And we was going to, a lot of us was going to fall away from the truth. Okay. And Esau, Edom, the so-called white race, the Amalekites, the so-called Jews, they took on our heritage, calling themselves Israelis, okay, and Jewish. So when they say uh, it, it must be a falling away first, meaning we're going to go into captivity, we're going to lose our heritage. So, and it reads, and that man of sin, okay, what is sin? Sin is transgression of the law. So it say that man, let you know that Lucifer, Satan, devil, is a man, okay? He's not on the ground with a red suit, with horns on his head and a pitchfork. That's Roman Catholicism. So it say, and that man of sin, when you read 1 John 3 and 4, it tell you that sin is transgression of the law. So, he's the man of sin, and I'm going to prove that. This is Isaiah 
24, verse 5, and it reads, The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. When you read Job 9, 24, it says the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. Okay, this is Isaiah 24 and 5. It says the earth is the earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. Now, who changed who changed the ordinance and the covenants, okay, and transgressed the laws? The forefathers, the founding forefathers of North America when they came over here. They set up the declaration and their constitutions, okay? They set up their own laws and they are not following the laws of the Lord, which is the laws of the land, okay? That's how we know that man of sin. Sin is transgression of the law. And what did Esau Edom do? He established different laws, his own laws, like homosexual, transgender, bisexual, okay, lesbians, okay, bestiality. You can have sex with your animals. Esau, Edom, who runs the earth? We know that he least runs the earth, the Rockefellers, the Rothschilds, the Oppenheimers, the DuPonts, the Gettys, okay? They run the earth, man, okay? All your one percent of J.P. Morgan and all the bank owners. Federal Reserve Bank owners, man. Okay? They own everything. So, it's a, they have transgression the laws. Who did, man? They changed everything. We know who did this, man. They have their own laws, their own rules, their own way of life that everybody else must follow. So, that man of sin in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 3, it say. And that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition. Who is the son of perdition? Perdition means destruction, destroyer. Okay, they are the destroyers of the earth, man. They are the harbingers of death. Okay, they destroy everything they put their hands on, man. That's what they do. That's how we know who this is talking about, man. The son of perdition. The son of destruction. And that's what the so-called white race do, man. They destroy the earth, man. Okay? That man of sin. It said that man. My point in this lesson is to let people know that Lucifer, Satan, the devil is a man. Okay? Now, this is um Revelation chapter 13, verse 18, because I'm getting to the point to prove my point about he's just a man. I'm going to read 16, though. It says, it's Revelation 13 and 16. And he calls up all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark. That word mark is karagma, mean incision. Okay? To be inserted inside you, man. He calls up all, okay, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. And that no man may buy or sell, save he that had the mark. Or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Verse 18 is my point. Here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. It is the number of a man. And his number is 600, three score, and six. Okay? So that's my second point. It's the number of a man. This is Revelation 13 18. Second Thessalonians chapter 2 and 3 say, and that man of sin, okay? This is Isaiah chapter 14, verse 12. And it says, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? And this is why our peoples in the churches feel like Lucifer fell from heaven. No, man, talking about him falling out of his rulership here on earth, man. Okay, his power. He has that power seat. He is the judge of this world, okay? It say, how art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which did weakest the nation? But thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into the heaven, which he did. Okay, he got his airplanes, his helicopters, his jets. Okay, he say, I will ascend into the heavens. I will exalt my throne above the stars. And he did all that, man. He got his space station up, y'all. And it's all his throne above the stars, man. Who are the stars? The Israelites, man. Okay, starting with Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, 
on down to Issachar, man. The 12 tribes of Israel. We are the stars of this world, man, but we on the bottom. So it say, I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the south of the north. And he does that, man. He controls everything, okay? They control the churches through the 501c3 charter, okay? Through Roman Catholic doctrines, man, the Roman Catholicism. So, and it say, and I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the south of the north. And we in North America, man. And Esau, Edom controls everything over here, man. They're showing you that that spiritual demon Satan has a physical seed here, and it's the Esau Edom, the so-called white people, man. It's the Edomites, okay? The Lord has a physical seed here, which are the sons of God, Yasha Allah, Israel, okay? The 12 tribes of Israel, man, okay? It say, verse 15 say, Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. This is my point. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble, that did shake kingdoms? Now, it start off in verse 12. Isaiah 14 and 12, it say, How I thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, okay, son of the morning. Verse 16 say, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble? It say, Man. He's a man. He's a man. He's not a uh, some type of dragon, a serpent, being under the ground with a red suit on and horns on his head and a pitchfork. Okay? That serpent that was in the garden with Eve, man, that was the so-called white man, man. Okay? That wasn't a serpent, man. You actually believe a serpent was talking to a woman, man? That serpent, that dragon, is talking about how slick that is with their philosophies, man. Okay? Just like when you go to college, man. When you take a philosophy, you got to take psychology, man. Psychology and philosophy. Hey, they they play on words, man. They good words. That's why people don't understand what Lucifer mean, what Satan mean, and what devil mean. Okay? That's why people messed up at, man. They don't, they don't understand these words, man. Okay? It say, is this the man? Isaiah 14 and 16. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and 3 say, that man of sin be revealed. Revelation 13 and 18 say, it is the number of a man. Showing you that Lucifer, Satan, devil, is a man and not some other type of being. Okay? Now you got that spiritual demon, Satan. But he has a physical seed here. Because Satan sits on the left side of Yahweh and Yahweh shot. And he only moves when the Most High tells him to move. Okay? If you read Job chapter 1 and 2, you get the understanding of that. Unless you know that Satan doesn't do nothing unless he gets the permission from the Most High Yahweh and Yahweh shot. Now, 2 um, Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 3 and it reads but if our gospel be hid it is hid to them that are lost in whom the God of this world talking about Esau Edom who controlled this earth which is that spiritual demon Satan through his physical seed which is the Edomites it say in whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not, least the light of the God, who is the image the God should shine up unto them. Okay? So that's letting you know that Satan, physical seed, has blinded the minds of these people. Okay? Okay, now going to Luke chapter 10 in verse 18, and it reads, And he said unto them, this is in the red, so this is Jehovah Shah speaking, and he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Now, 
I'm going to get into these words, Lucifer. Okay, just told you right here. I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Now, Lucifer means light bearer. Okay? Let's get to understand. If you go to the blue letter, Lucifer means light bearer. If you go to the blue letter, it will show you that. So, it's best for you to download the blue letter, the blue letter Bible app, and look at these words. Lucifer means light bearer. Light bearer, go back to the word illuminate. Okay? Illuminate, lighten, to shine. Satan means adversary. Okay? If you go back to Satan, it means adversary. Adversary, go back to the word enemy. Okay? When you look up these words, Lucifer, which is light bearer, light bearer, go back to illuminate. Satan, go back to adversary. Adversary goes back to enemy. Devil, go back to Diablos, which means deceiver. Who has been deceiving us on this earth since they've been in rulership? Since the late 1300s up to now. Esau, Edom, the so-called white race. Satan, adversary, enemy. Who is our enemy? It tells you in Deuteronomy 28 who is our enemy. Okay? Lucifer, which is light bearer, which go back to illuminate. Who called himself the Illuminati? Who called himself the Illuminati, the Illuminated ones? The Illuminati, man. The elites. The 1% of the Rothschild, the Rockefellers, the Oppenheimer, the DuPonts, the Gettys. Okay? All these elite rich bankers. Okay? Start with the Rothschilds. Now, like I say, Satan go back to adversary, and adversary go back to enemy. Okay? If you go to the blue letter, it will show you that. Who is our enemy? Let's get it. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28. I'm going to start at verse 43. It says, The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. Are we not the lowest on the earth? Okay? The 12 tribes of Israel, man. We all scatter into the ghettos. Which ghettos go back to the word corner. And we are all scattered into the corners of the earth, man, wherever we at. Okay? Verse 44 it say, He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. Are not the owners of these banks that lend money to us? Okay? Which you got on um, the so called Haitians and so called Jamaicans can get along faster than the so called Negroes can, man. Okay? The whole northern kingdom, man. The so called Puerto Ricans, the so called Dominicans, the so called Mexicans, okay, the so called Colombians, they all, the, the, the northern kingdom can get along faster than, than the so called Negroes can, man. It says, He shall lend to thee, but thou shalt not lend to him. And we don't own no banks, man, so who's lending the money? Who is this showing who's in control? Esau, Edom, the so called white people. You, got, you can't be that slow in the brain, man. This is not rocket science. It's right here in the scriptures. Now uh, this say um this is um Deuteronomy 28 verse 48. And it reads, I'm gonna read verse 45. Deuteronomy 28 verse 4 said, Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed, meaning until we are put to death, man, the Lord got these curses on us. It said, because thou hearkens not unto the voice of the Lord, thy power to keep his commandments and his statutes, which he commanded thee. Okay. Now, verse 4, they say, therefore shall thou serve thy enemies. But this is my point. Therefore, thou shalt serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in the womb of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Until he have destroyed thee. Okay. It say in hunger. And in thirst. And in nakedness. And in one of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron on your neck. Now. It say in hunger. Our food. In thirst. Which is our water. It say in nakedness. Meaning our clothes. It say in the one for all things. So for our food. Our clothes. Our water. Our transportation. 
our living. Okay? We got to go to these Edomites for everything. This is showing you who this book is parabolic. It's in codes. Okay? It's a mystery. This shows you who's in control of the earth. Okay? Now, this is um, Deuteronomy 20 and 49. It says, The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far from the end of the earth as swift as the eagle fly. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Okay? A nation whose tongue that thou shalt not understand. And when we came over here, man, show you the movie Roots. We didn't understand their language. That's why they beat our language out of us and beat their language into us, man. And we took on their language. Okay? Their English. Their vocabulary. Okay? And this is Deuteronomy 28, verse, 4, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Okay, Egypt means bondage, slavery. And did we not come over here on slave ships? Yes, we did. By the way whereof I speak unto thee, thou shalt see it no more. And we shall see what no more? Our land. We shall never see it again. And we haven't seen it to this day. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women. And no man shall buy you. That word buy right there in that verse means redeem. You shall be sold to your enemy for bum men and bum women, and no man shall redeem you out of their hand. Okay? Because your harvest is our redeemer, our savior, our deliverer. So we was obviously sold for bum men and bum women. So a lot of people want to use that and say, see, but but that word buy man means redeem, man. You gotta go to the blue letter and punch this, punch in any chapter in the blue letter, it's gonna give you. What the words mean, once you punch on tools, it's going to show you how to break down these words, either Greek or in the Hebrew. So, my point that was, your enemies, you shall be sold to your enemies. So, what does Satan mean? Satan means adversary. What does adversary mean? Adversary means enemies, man. Okay? Lucifer means light bearer. What does light bearer mean? Illuminate. They call it the Illuminati. Okay, what does devil mean? Diablos, which means deceiver. Now, prove my point about the illuminated ones. This is Hebrews chapter 10, verse 32. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 32. But call to remembrance the former days in which, after ye were illuminated, ye endured a great fight of affliction. So it's telling us that we're the real illuminated ones, okay? We're the real illuminated ones, man, with this truth. We're the real elites. Okay? The elites, the one-third of Israel, the elite elect of Yahshua. Okay? We are the illuminated of Israel. The one-third elect of Israel is the illuminated sons of God. Okay? Read this again. It says Hebrews chapter 10, verse 32. Were called to remembrance the former days in which, after ye were illuminated, ye endured a great fight of affliction. And we came over here, the Lord sent us over here to serve out our judgment, man, okay, in captivity, to be afflicted, okay, the illuminated ones, his chosen people, man, okay. We've been serving out affliction over here for over hundreds and hundreds of years, man. Now, um, going back to, okay, Job, it tells you in Job about Satan, how Satan uses Yahweh shot, Yahweh uses Satan to tempt Job, okay, to put Job through, because basically Yahweh and Satan had a bet, man, okay, that spiritual demon. That he was going to break Job, but it never happened, man. Showing you that Satan has no power, okay, unless the Lord has given him authority to do so. My point of this lesson is this. As I told you in 2 Thessalonians 2 and 3, that man of sin, that man, okay, Revelation 13 18, it is the number of a man. Isaiah 14 and 16, is this the man, okay, 
that made the earth to tremble, that shook kingdoms. Lucifer, the light bearer, the illuminated one, it did not fall from heaven, man. When it says he fell from heaven, once again, it's talking about him falling out of his rulership here on earth. Because this is their heaven, and this is the 12 tribes of Israel, hell. This is our judgment. This is their heaven. But they are falling out of their heaven, man. That's what they're talking about. See, what you got to understand is the prophecies in the Old Testament, all those prophecies have not came to pass yet. You have all these false prophets, these preachers in these churches, okay, who, who, who taught them? Esau, Edom. They tell you that the Old Testament done away with. Well, how the Old Testament done away with when it's still prophecies that have to come to play in the Old Testament, like jo like Jeremiah 30 and 7, the time of Jacob's trouble. That hasn't happened yet. Okay? That hasn't happened yet. Like uh, Psalm 149, when it say, we shall bind their kings and nobles with, with, with chains and fetters of iron. That hasn't happened yet. Okay? That hasn't happened yet, man. Psalm 2 and 8, when they say, Ask of me and I shall give thee the heathen for thy inheritance. That hasn't happened yet. Because who is the heathen? All the other nations outside of Israel, man. It's 18 nations on this earth. Israel being one. The 12 tribes being one nation. It's 17 other nations. And all 17 nations had us in captivity. And you can read that in Psalm the 83rd chapter. When they say, Come. Let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in their remembrance. Okay? These prophecies haven't happened yet. Isaiah 14 and 12, when they say, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, O light bearer? It says, Son of the morning. It tell you right there. Um, Luke 10 18, when they say, I beheld Satan as lightning. Satan also means lightning, man. Okay? Another word for that is lightning, man. Adversary. Okay, enemy. So these words is important to look up these words, man. Our people does not study words. They say if you want to hide something from a nigga, I got to put it in a book. Well, not this book, but this book is being broken down. Okay, the seal is open. Start with the positive and elders of Great Millstone, man. This knowledge is flourishing throughout the four corners of the earth, man. Okay, that's why I say that man of sin. Be revealed, man, because we know who he is now. The son of perdition. Esau, Edom, the so-called white race. Now, it tells you also that um, when you go to the blue letter and look up Satan, okay, it tells you that treated with enmity, man, okay? They treat us with enmity, man. And when you look up Genesis 3 and 15, Yahweh say, I will put Enmity between thee and the woman and between thy seed and her seed. Eve don't have a seed. That's talking about the nation of Israel, man. Okay? The sons of God, Yahshua Allah, the Israelites, they're going to have enmity between them and the sons of the wicked, which is the spiritual seeds, the physical seeds of Satan. Okay? The Edomites, the so-called white race. The Hebrew Edomites against the Hebrew Israelites. It's a enmity between the two. Okay? You've got to look up these words. It's very important. It's very important to understand these words. Because if you don't, you will be lost. Once again, Lucifer only means light bearer. Which go to the other word, illuminate. Satan means adversary. Which go back to the word enemy. And I read to you in Deuteronomy 28, who is our enemy, we shall be sold to them. And we were sold to our enemy. Okay? Devil, go back to the word Diablos, which go back to the word deceiver. Who has been deceiving now? Who has been deceiving our people since the beginning of their rulership? Okay? The late 13 to the 1400s, man, all the way to now. Esau Eden, the so called white race. They stole our heritage, okay? They took over. Came over here and slaughtered Native American Indians, okay? Slaughtered, massacred them, man. Slaughtered Judah, Benjamin, Levi, and stole our heritage, man. They are the deceivers, okay? During the Renaissance era, 
okay, which is called Rebirth, okay, they set up their iconoclasm when they whitewashed all the pictures of Moses, Yahweh Shai, okay, King David, Solomon, okay, they whitewashed all the pictures, man. That's how we know they are the deceivers, man. Through you got Edomites that write books, some type of books, saying that they are the Edomites, man. Okay? Like Charles Wiseman, man. He said that they are the Edomites. So, listen, man. Lucifer, he is falling from his rulership right now, his kingdom. He never fell from no third realm, man, through space. Otherwise, he'd have still been falling through space right now. That's crazy. That's madness. Talking about him falling out of his rulership, his power, his control of the earth. That's what that's talking about. Okay? So, Satan, his adversary, go back to enemy. Devil, deceiver, diablos, man. you got to look up these words. So, with that, Lord willing, someone was edified. I want to say all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim. Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rika, Podash, double honors to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone over the well, and a sincere salutation to all the Akim, pushing this truth throughout the four winds of the earth, waking up the hope for the left. Shalom.